Hello, I'm Matt Martin from Applied ZAX in Portland, Oregon. Uh, today I'm going to show some law extension. So on the Surface tab, here's the dialog for law extension. You can pick faces or vector, base profile, face edges, or select the reference faces. You can control the angle and length laws, control the opposite side extension, pick a spine, and control how the part miters around corners. There's a tool called law extension. I'm going to reset the tool so I start from scratch. I let you pick uh, faces or a vector to control how it's going to extend, and that'll make sense here in a second. Uh, I'm going to pick the base profile. I'm just going to pick a curve here. I'm just grab that edge curve, and I want to grab this face here. So I have handles where I can drag the length, and by default, it's going to come up 90 degrees, and I can control that angle back and forth pretty simply. Uh, I can do an opposite side extension that is symmetric if I wanted to do that. Go back to none for now. I can also change the length law to be a linear so I can have two different lengths. Switch that to cubic. I can also drive it by equation or a law curve or I can have multiple transitions in here. So I can put another point in here, drag that longer, put a point in here, again, making it longer or shorter as I need to. Switch that back to constant. I can pretty much do the same thing with the angle. So I can do a linear angle const uh, constraint and have two different angles based on the ends. Switch that to cubic. And again, you can have by equation, by law curve, or multiple transitions. Say OK to that. And from here, I could throw an edge blend on. If I sew it first. Then I can throw an edge blend down there. Pretty simple. But I could take and use a offset curve and face. that direction so it's actually on the part. So I've created an offset curve in the face. I'm going to use this for creating my law extension. Flip that up or down. And make that a constant. And I want to do symmetric offset. Can okay that. See where I'm building geometry on the fly to start making uh, edits to my surface. Throw a face blend in here. See the preview underneath, and I'm going to trim to all input faces and say OK. So now I'm going to show a little uh, law extension as it goes around corners. So I'm going to grab this from my base curve, select this from my faces. Pull that out, and under the miter section over here, switch that from none to sharp, and then to blend. See how that affects the corners. That's the the miter option. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel, or visit www.appliedcax.com.